Hello, this is a Nacy Fix production. All things relating to this video can be found in the video description, so be sure to check there. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey YouTube, since Windows 1.0, MS Paint has been along for the ride. As you know, MS Paint is a very basic program that you're looking at right now, and it, and it has not changed very much over the decades. You can do very simple stuff, make crappy cartoon figures, maybe draw them punching someone in the face, like that. And we'll put a, and then you can put like a happy little label on top of who's getting punched in the face. Uh, oh, let's see here. I'm gonna actually have some fun with this for a second. Nacy fix getting punched in the face because he won't make any videos by a terrorist subscriber. Okay, now it looks like he's just punching the text, so I'm going to have to redraw the figure. So yeah, you can do some pretty uh, fun stuff with MS Paint. You know, this is one of the greatest applications. We can make a unibrow, maybe, you know, a little spray paint. Yeah, but um, if you haven't noticed the sarcasm in my voice, it's pretty much a... Uh, this is uh, good for maybe six-year-old kids, but really, paint has not changed over the years that it's been on the Windows operating system. A good alternate program to paint, and also to Photoshop, that is free, is called Paint.net. I'll include a link to the description to where to download this program. You can work in layers, and in fact, I did some of the of uh, my most favorite things that I do on Photoshop on paint not dot net in about five minutes so it is a very uh, useful program put in clouds and uh, you can make them rougher so that's a little different than Photoshop and one of the things that I like to do is like put a little twist in you know well I don't really like to do that but it has the twist effect I don't, I don't know about you, but the twist effect looks a little cooler on this, on paint.net. And then you can change the amounts. I don't really like it that high. Okay, you're watching an idiot play with paint. I'm sorry. Okay. So, then you can do something like that. And one of my most favorite things that I used to do on Photoshop is I would go to Duplicate Layer. Then I would go to Blurs, Gaussian Blur. 4.0 then it get all blurry and then you can go to uh, properties and then go to like overlay and yeah, there it is and then it like makes it like really rich so, see it and you can tell see the difference so yeah this is one of my most favorite things to do in Photoshop and they have it here on paint.net this allows uh, even maybe some adults to have fun and, and, uh, and it has a large array of capabilities for people who don't want to fork out the $600 for Photoshop and their 30 day free trial just ran out. It's obviously not as good as Photoshop but it, it's a lot better than MS Paint. So the conclusion here is instead of having your kids play around with MS Paint their entire life because that's the only paint software bundled with your Windows XP or Windows Vista machine, how about you go get paint.net, which is in the description. Alright, I hope to make more videos. I know I've been gone a lot recently. I recently upgraded my video card and monitor, so that's why I've sort of been gone. But now I can run my frame rates from 2 frames to like 9 frames. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you like my videos. I make tech videos all the time, just not recently. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Hey, I hope this video tutorial was interesting to you, or helped you in some way. I was going to show some things I did in Photoshop a few years ago, but if I showed it in this screen going on here, the quality would be very bad due to all the compression that goes on. 
and if I provided links, it would give thousands of people the opportunity to steal my hard-earned work. So I decided against showing any of my wallpapers or anything like that. I did get very good feedback on them, and I happen to like them a lot, but I don't think it's worth risking it. But, in any case, thank you for watching. Have a good day.